<laughs> Yo, it's your boy Eli. Yo, it's Kid. And it's the E and Kid Podcast. And hey, today, man, man. I guess we talking about Kid. What we talking about? We talking about Tom Brady and Will. He went his eighth ring this year. But before I get into the video, you guys gotta make sure to hit the like button. Doing that would just help push us in the YouTube algorithm so more people are able to see the video you just saw. Also, if you wanna see more content like this, you guys gotta make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Now, back to the video. Now, kid, like I was saying before, is Tom Brady gonna win his eighth ring? You can go ahead and start us off. Oh, I thought? Yeah, you, 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 bought, you want to I, talk about it. You don't believe me in this one, and I think a lot of people wouldn't agree, but they, this is my theory. You don't, he's the GOAT. You don't count the, the old That's man true. out. And my theory is, he's, and are they, they're a lot now, right? Dirty, they're, dirty. So, all right. They're they're so my, my they're thing is, the regular season, as rocky as it was, it's the regular season. It was hard. It was hard. Now it's a world, it's, it's one winner take all. Yeah. And I'm saying, as long as he's alive and he has a chance, and you saw the last few games that they've been building momentum. I, I called it a few weeks ago. Every the last few games have been getting a little better, a little better, a little better. Now Mike Evans is picking momentum. He, I mean, that game looked hopeless yesterday, and he's done this like three weeks in a row, so or something. Three out of the last four it's weeks, been, it's been a few weeks. Where he's had a couple of games like this, where it's like there's hopeless, and then 432 yards, three touchdowns. You know, so I'm like, if he has a chance, the worst team. And I think the worst position you want to be in is the team that has to see them first. Because it's like, okay, they're not the best. This is not the best Tom Brady team. But yeah. if they start feeling it, getting that momentum, Tom starts, you know, getting in, and getting to the groove, you're in trouble. And if he, okay, they win the first round, okay, that's momentum. They believe this is still the GOAT. He, he until he's down and like, gone and out, he's always going to be, he's the X Factor. Because what if they win two? What if they what if they just win the first two? Now it's like, okay. Now uh, so it's like I heard you saying you gotta you, think about it. It's you know, it's tough it is tough to count Tom Brady out. But the team has looked very horrible this season. Um Tom people say Tom looks bad, but he's almost doing five five thousand yards. I mean he's at his up and downs, but he ha hasn't looked as bad as what people have said he's looked. People make it seem like, what I said, though. like worst, one of the worst quarterbacks in the league this season. Not, not, not to cut you off, you're right. The team has looked bad. What did I say? Last few, three or four games, they've been getting better. They've been they've looked better than they have had in the first eight, nine, ten games of the season. The last three, four games, Mike. That's like the best game Mike Evans had all year. He had 206 yeah. yards. But um, he, he, I mean, Tom Brady's look great. Mike Evans look great. But with a team, um, not let him down because you can have a great individual performance like he had one year against the Eagles. And they let him down and he lost. So, I mean, if we just we just go out Tom Brady and can he rise to the occasion? I know can he rise to the occasion, but will the defense rise to the occasion? Um, will Leonard Fournette rise to the occasion? You know, he's known for fumbling the football at times. He's done it. <laughs> he really has done it. He's almost lost games <laughs> for them <laughs> doing it. Um, will the defense be able to play consistently? Because one year, um, that was it was like what two years ago, the Rams. This year, the Rams. That was last year. Um, was it last year? No, I don't believe that was last year. Because the Rams, no, that was last year. The Rams won last year, right? That was last that was year. The, you know, that was the year they had the problems. The Rams won last year, right? Yeah. yeah that, that was last year. So, um, Tom Brady, he throws a touchdown. He ties the game up because he basically made a comeback. And then Cooper Cups, I don't know what the defense was doing. Cornerback gets burnt. Cooper Cup goes for a touchdown. Cups so they left him, they let him down though. That's what I'm saying. They let him down. So My based off of Tom Brady, yes, I believe that, you know, of his greatness, I believe he could do it. But if the team is not able to ride around him and they have one of those games where they're in the funk, because you don't want to always, you know, comeback factor is important, but you don't always want to be down, especially in the playoffs. Momentum is a big thing. And if you're getting down on every single game, which they've been doing in the regular season, that is not bow well for the playoffs. All I'm gonna say is eight and eight Giants, 2000 and, uh, 2010? So 2010, yeah. One right? was 2008, but I'm, I don't know. No, believe it wasn't it. a 2008 year. It was 2012. I know we that won was 2012. That was an eight and eight season. That whole year, y'all, we remember this, y'all looked horrible. We did look horrible. And then y'all picked the momentum. The players in the locker room was like, oh. Oh, we think we can do this. I'm, yeah. I'm saying if the players start to feel we did like they can do it. Hall of Famers on defense like Michael Strahan and just Mike Stringham. Evans. <laughs> and Dominic Sue. That ain't defense. Dominic Sue. I don't. Dominic is not on the team no more. Oh, that's right. But if they start feeling it, like okay, we can 
oh, this is the GOAT, we can do yeah. this. All I'm saying is the mo because their their backs are against the wall. They're the corner animal. They're yeah. the underdog. You is the, the I'm telling you, especially in the first round, the wild card, you don't want to see I don't pray the Chargers don't play them first. You don't want to see them the first. Chargers? You're in you're their home division. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? You mean like the Cowboys or the 49ers like the or something? First, you don't want to be the team that sees them in the first wild card round. Because it's like, okay, this is Tom Brady. If we get behind or he gets a whiff of momentum, it's over. Yeah. And you know what? It, you know, it's always like the games where like he scores that first touchdown when yeah. he starts to run, and then like the team doesn't score, and he scores another one. He's like, oh, and then you like you know it's over. You know, yeah. no matter what you do, he's he's not going to stop. Yeah. So, well, I would love to see eight. Well, I would love to see eight. <laughs> yeah, eight? Um, I, he's got a, he's got a strong possibility. Like the playoffs is different races. You don't have to necessarily be the best team record wise. You necessarily don't have to be the best team because it's been years the best team has lost because you could just show up and be horrible that season or a team like the Bengals. Remember, Bengals did last season where nobody expected them to do anything. They weren't one of the better teams. They were just in the mix and they made it to the championship game and they almost won it all. So it's about peaking at the right time. It's not what you did throughout the regular season that matters. But you got anything else on this topic? No. Oh. I want to um, see number eight. That's pretty much it for the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button, comment below. You guys think Tom Brady is able to win an eighth ring? Or you think he's too old to do it and the team is going to let him down? <laughs> and you guys got to make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more sports content like this video. And hit the notification bell. And until next time, guys, we are out. Peace. Peace.